Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a New Year's Eve look. You can definitely use this for, you know, Christmas as well or just the evening going out. Um, I wanted to do this more towards New Year's Eve uh, with the glitter and everything, but um, especially this is more definitely more evening look. This is not an 8 a.m. look. <laughs> I mean, whatever, but I'm going to gear this more towards the evening. I definitely want to use a palette and items you can just easily pick up at the store, especially if it's something last minute. You're like, ah, what am I going to do? And this is stuff you can pick up. So for the main eye look, I use the Bombs Nude Tude Palette. And I love this palette. This is a great neutral palette. So this is great for everything, basically. So you have a lot of neutral shades. I definitely use this a lot, or I've used this mostly for, you know, the mornings um, with these lighter, just kind of neutral, um, warm shades. But then you definitely have some darker shades you can play with. And I wanted to gear this more towards an evening. I wanted to mix in some glitter, and this is one of my favorite pigments from MAC. And this is MAC's Deeply Dashing. And I definitely wanted to do something different from the traditional gold and silver. I'll probably maybe do another look using silver. I really wanted to do silver, but then I was like, no, I want to use this. Um, deeply Dashing. It looks beautiful on its own on a, on top of a light brown, but I definitely want to use it as um, on top of a dark brown from this palette as kind of my base, especially because I was going to go a little bit, you know, more deeper smoky eye, and I definitely like how it came out. Bear with me throughout the channel with any smoky eye. It's going to look a hot mess in the beginning, but when it kind of comes out as you blend, as you experiment, and maybe not the first time, you know, if you're definitely not, you know, as experienced with makeup, I would definitely do some trials, tr you know, test it out, and then, you know, it'll definitely come out better. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, some of the products, you don't have to use everything. Maybe you can definitely use, substitute some of the items that you have in your own stash. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. First, I'm going to go ahead and use Max Painterly Paint Pot and just put that all over my eyes as a base for the rest of my eyeshadows. I'm going to go ahead and use the Nude Tooth Palette and I'm going to take the color called Sultry with a fluffy blending brush and just blend that all around my crease as a transition shade. Then I'm going to go ahead and mix Sassy and Snobby together for my under brow highlight and later I'm going to use that also for my inner corner highlight. So kind of mix those two because I feel like maybe the white, it's fine on its own but I kind of wanted to tone it down a little bit since I'm going to do a lot of shimmer on the eyelids. I'm going to go in with the color called Sleek here and this is just a very very dark brown like an extremely dark brown and I'm just using that to pat all over my eyelid with a flat sheer brush because I really want to pack this color on and a lot of that's going to be happening is packing this color and blending packing this color and blending Then with the clean brush, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of blend out those harsh lines. And as you kind of blend, you're going to lose color. So I'm going to be adding color and blending, adding color and blending. And this doesn't have to be too perfect. Um, either way, it doesn't have to be like packed on the lid because I'm going to add um, that shimmer. So this is more of just a base for the shimmer shade we're going to add on top. Then with the pointed crease brush, I'm going to take that color called Sexy, which is a nice um, deep burgundy maroon tone. So I'm just going to use that on the outer corner of the eye, kind of blending it in a little bit, just to kind of warm up my crease a little bit and transition from that really dark brown. And as usual, in between, I'm just taking a clean, fluffy brush, if anything, with some of that sultry color and just blending everything together just so everything blends seamlessly. And then to warm up the crease and transition a little bit warmer, I'm taking that Max Pro Longwear eyeshadow and uninterrupted just to add some warmth to my eye and transition that to the brow bone color even nicer. Then 
then I'm gonna go ahead and take Max Pressed Pigment and Deeply Dashing and just press this all along my lid on top of that base, that really dark brown. You can use a light brown or a dark brown. I really want to switch it up and just for an evening look, look use a very dark brown. And I added some Fix Plus to the brush just to kind of enhance the glitters, but you can also just even use your finger. And these pressed pigments work really nice with the finger as well. Once again, I'm just blending everything together, just have a nice transition. And then to clean the look up, I'm using a Q-tip and just kind of sharpening my line. So if it's looking messy, it's okay because you can always just go ahead in with the Q-tip. Then I'm going to go in with the Mali Primer to prime my face to set as a base for my foundation and preparation for foundation and concealer as well. And here I'm going to take the Josie Maron concealer and just put that just to kind of spot conceal all over my face um, in preparation for foundation so that this way I kind of use less foundation to cover up any blemishes whereas I can just spot conceal. My foundation I'll be using is Max Mineralize Moisture Foundation. This is a very dewy foundation so if you're someone with dry skin or you like a very dewy finish this is definitely a great option and I like stippling it the most with my beauty blender. I feel like that just kind of enhances the dewiness of it. Then I'm going to go back in with some more of that Laura Mercier concealer and just use that for my under eyes. Um, this is going to help cancel out any of the dark circles that I'm going to have. But then to brighten, I'm going to go in with another product because I feel like this does better to cancel out the dark circles. Um, and then I like, you know, kind of blend get in with my Beauty Blender. I feel like that's one of the quickest products to blend in foundation and concealer. Here I'm going in with the Max Prep and Prime. Um, highlighter in the color light boost and I'm just using that under my eyes my forehead um, down the bridge of my nose and I'm gonna blend that in as well with a beauty blender to help highlight my face and enhance those features and I think this is especially important when you're using very dark colors under on your eyes <laughs> I'm going to go in with the Sonia Kashuk Cream Bronzer just to kind of bronze up my face in preparation. I'm going to do this before my powder bronzer and I just like this underneath the powder bronzer especially for a dry skin person. It helps it not be as patchy and help with that kind of luminous glow I'm going with. You can definitely just do the cream bronzer but you know I want to set it with a powder bronzer to last even longer. To set my bronzer, I'm definitely going to use the Benefit Hula Bronzer and also to do more some contouring and just kind of slim down the face a little bit. I'm going to use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores to set my whole face and especially underneath my eyes to set the concealer. This is my first time using the product so I'm really experimenting with it and seeing how I like it, you know, especially the whole face or just underneath the eyes. For my blush, I'm going to use this one by Tarte called Expose, and this is a very, you know, natural colored blush, but it still gives you like a hint of color. It's great for every day, for smoky eyes, for just any look that you want to do, honestly, I feel like. And the lasting power of these blushes is just amazing. This is probably like the most last long <laughs> blush that I've ever tried. For my highlight, I'm going to go ahead and use the Max Mineralize Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. This is a really great highlight, a very great starter highlight. If you're not sure what to use, this really goes with everything and it is definitely like very pigmented but not so much. We have to be extremely careful. Then just to line my um, lower lash line, I'm going to go ahead and use that same sleek color, that dark brown with a flat shader brush. And then I'm going to go ahead with a pencil brush, a smaller brush, and kind of blend that out with the color sexy that I kind of used in the outer corner. I'm going to 
gonna go ahead with those two highlighting shades that I used underneath my brow bone and just use that for my inner tear duct just to brighten up, you know, the inner portions of my eyes, especially since I'm using such dark colors. I use a Kat Von D tattoo liner to line my eyes and Red Cherry number 14 lashes. Then just to kind of blend my natural lashes with my real lashes, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Sensational Mascara. To line my eyes, I'm gonna use the Rimmel Scandal Eyes, the brown eyeliner, just for my waterline, just to enhance the darkness, deepness of this look. <laughs> I'm going to use the Rimmel Lip Liner in Nude to line up my lips. This stuff is definitely optional, but it'll help your you know, lipstick last a little bit longer. Then for my lipstick, I'm going to use the Lorac Alter Eagle Lipstick in the color Duchess, which is just a perfect everyday nude. It goes with a day look or especially a night look like this. Then to top it off, I'm going to use Max Floor Abundance Lip Gloss, which is really nice. A light lip gloss so it can really lighten a color you know that you want or just you know if you want that light of a color that's definitely great <laughs> I use a L'Oreal makeup setting spray just to set up my whole makeup and the look is complete I hope you guys enjoyed this video maybe you'll give it a try you know use some of the products that you have in your own makeup you know stash and then maybe pick up some of these other ones make sure to subscribe to keep up with some new videos and definitely comment down below what other videos you would like to see so thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you next time